Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, just the revelator once again, and hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We meet once again in yet another divine inspiration through the influence and inspiration through the motivation of the word. And today, I've been given yet another task to fulfill the word ministration through yet another encounter by the Holy Spirit. And today, I want to talk about the political ranks in the Spirit the political ranks in the spirit and what are the political ranks in the spirit at one moment jesus is approached by the sadducees and the pharisees and they approach him and they present a coin asking jesus saying master should we pay taxes to caesar and the reason why they asked this question is because the narration according to scripture says they wanted to entangle jesus in his words so that he would end up addressing things that he was not supposed to address against caesar not because caesar was fearful no but because Jesus said, come down here for one cause. And that cause was to die for people, not to get arrested and fail his assignment. At one moment, Herod and Pilate were enemies. They became friends when Jesus was apprehended. Why I'm bringing this up is for you to understand that Jesus was operating above political ranks. It ranks that were spiritually affiliated with the political ranks. Every political authority had his eye on Jesus, on whatever he was doing. This is why Jesus was crucified by soldiers. This is why soldiers wrestled for the rope of Jesus and they tossed a coin. It represented powers and authorities, continents and nations that would get divided because of the same Jesus in the later future. So there are many other attributes that caused Jesus to operate at those ranks is because he was the son of God. We have the likes of Moses who goes and stands before Pharaoh. He stands before the prince of a nation asking that the child of God in Egypt gets released from bondage. And that alone was a political ranked prophet. Why? Because despite the fact that he was raised as a prince in the palace of Pharaoh, he was also anointed at that political rank in the spirit to deliver the children of God, the children of Israel, who were captivated by the political system of Pharaoh inside the bondage of Egypt. And Moses has to dispute with Pharaoh on several occasions 
presenting and demonstrating quite a number of miracles for Pharaoh to let go. It was not just a bakery of titans. It was not just a bakery of princes, but it was a political rank in the spirit which went beyond just Pharaoh pursuing Moses afterwards with the children of Israel, but a beg of princes in the spirit. There are so many servants of God that were raised by God, even in the book of Judges, who were raised at different levels of political ranks, the likes of Gideon, the army men in the book of Judges, who was raised by God with only 300 men to fight against the Midianites who had encamped inside Israel. And the nation of Israel was invaded by another nation and it took one that was anointed at the level and rank that was political to stand on behalf of God and deliver the nation of Israel at that level. The likes of Samson in the book of Judges who slew a thousand soldiers who wrestled with the Philistines as a nation. Yet he wrestled with that nation as an individual. He was not an ordinary anointed being but also a political ranked spirit we have the likes of joseph who had dreams that went beyond individual statuses but dreams that determined rulers dreams that instructed rulers dreams that determined the economic status of a nation the dream of the swine that were thin eating the swine that was fit all those parabolic dreams being given to a pharaoh who was in charge and alerting him of the drought the poverty that was yet to come but before all that joseph had to go through prison joseph had to suffer quite a number of things before he himself sat on that throne why because he had a political rank in the spirit the likes of john the revelator who was exiled by the roman politicians what level of revelations would one be giving to the level that you get exiled out of your very own nation to the level of being thrown into a boiling basin. The likes of Apostle Paul, who was exiled out of a city through a basket, one that stood and preached the gospel before kings, governors, magistrates, princes. It was a political rank the likes of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, 
who vowed to be thrown into the furnace of fire after opposing princes, magistrates, judges, governors. And when the trumpet was sounded, they refused to fall down, these, these three men. They opposed the higher political ranks in the spirit. And when they were thrown into the fiery furnace, which was ever blazing, the fourth man appeared in the midst of that fire. All these child of God that I briefly gave you were political ranks, including our Lord and Savior. But my focus today is on a certain political rank in the spirit. And his name was Daniel. He is one that operated in this office above kings, above governors, above princes. He was anointed by God. He was given that authority by Jesus at a level that was inspirational. I know that we've got prophets like Samuel who anointed David and Saul who also operated above kings. All that he did was to anoint a king in every transition of an oncoming king. A king that was being ordained. Prophet Samuel would anoint but this particular Daniel was chosen in the realm above kings and princes. Now, I want to take you to the book of Daniel chapter 10. And in the book of Daniel chapter 10, Daniel has been mourning for three full weeks. And he says, I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all, till all the three whole full weeks were done. And in the four and the twentieth day of the first month, which means he fasted 21 days, as I was by the side of the great river, which is Hitikel, I then lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a certain man clothed with the linen whose loins were gated with a, a fine gold of ufas. His body also was like bell and his face as the appearance of lightning and his eyes as the lamps of fire and his arms and his feet like in color to polish the press and the voice of his words like the voice of multitudes and i daniel alone saw the vision for that man that were with me did not see that vision why because a great quaking fell upon them so that they fled to hide daniel has seen a vision and after witnessing a vision, those that were with him, they did not even get the opportunity to see this vision. Why? Because the scriptures say a great quaking fell upon them. When you start seeing certain visions, when you start experiencing certain visions in the spirit that are at the level which is political in the spirit, there is a great quaking that is going to fall upon others that are not given that capacity there is a great quaking that is going to fall upon others that are not given the grace to see those things this is why when you start revealing things that are political you have got a congregants you have got a brethren that face downwards why because it is too heavy for them daniel held a political rank in the spirit that allowed him to hear certain things in the spirit and to see certain visions that were not seen by his other colleagues in the spirit. 
I know that there are other political ranks uh, like Elijah in scriptures. Elijah stood before kings and he opposed the system of a government of Ahab and Jezebel. He opposed also prophets. He stood against a nation single-handed as a prophet of God. And that anointing of Elijah continued into the New Testament with John the Baptist being arrested and being thrown into the cells by a king and being beheaded because of the weight that came from a king's daughter. All those were political ranks. Daniel has prayed for 21 days. And while he's still praying for 21 days, there is a determination in the spirit that must happen. And that determination involves a warfare of princes in the realms that were fighting. What it means is that the prayer that Daniel is doing is not an ordinary prayer of an individual, but it is the prayer that determines certain events and incidents, certain outcomes in the realms of the spirit. So when you find Daniel praying, just know that Daniel's prayer is not a prayer of merely praying for a car. It is not a mere prayer, a petty prayer of praying so that you get money to clear off your debt. But the prayer of Daniel, it determines certain warfare of political ranks in the spirit. Daniel is praying until an angel that is named Gabriel descends. But for that angel that is named Gabriel to descend, there is a certain level of prayer and there is a certain level of praying that is done by Daniel. And that level of praying that is done by Daniel, it invokes certain entities that are elevated at the level of political ranks in the spirit. It provokes certain levels of princes that wrestle in the realms for territorial positions for spiritual capacities daniel is praying at the level of determining the constitution of a nation at the level of being a custodian that determines political ranks in the spirit there is a rank that you must reach child of god whereby when you pray you determine princes in the spirit to effect decisions that will determine rulers in the physical. All that you have to do is engage in the spirit. You don't have to enter their offices physical. You don't have to determine a decision physical. All that you have to do is pray in the spirit. And when you pray in the spirit, your prayer is going to provoke princes and when your prayer has provoked princes in the spirit your prayer is going to determine certain laws your prayer is going to amend certain constitutions your prayer is going to determine the effectiveness of certain rulers your prayer is going to determine the ballot box your prayer is going to determine the community leadership your prayer is going to disturb choices and decisions your prayer is going to determine rules of laws your prayer is going to determine who's going to be in office your prayer is going to determine what decisions is, is he going to take without you even entering the offices i'm talking about a calling here which was a political rank in the spirit i'm talking about daniel remember shadrach mishak and abed nico they were appointed by that office of Daniel as much as Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were so firm and bold in their ranks 
of politics in the spirit. They were appointed by one that was above princes and the presidents was given a realm that was political in the spirit. Daniel says, I alone saw this vision. But the rest, a great quaking fell upon them. So they fled to hide themselves. Why? Because the things that Gabriel was about to tell him, they were so heavy. They can only be understood by Daniel. This is why they are revelations that I've written from the interrogation room from years ago. Not only about this nation, but about the continent itself, about the Board of Christ. And those revelations, they are beyond men and women that are praying for bread and butter issues. It's not a mockery. There are people that are at the level of praying for bread and butter issues. And there are people that are at the level of being gatekeepers and watchers in the realms of the spirit. They now pray for territories. They now pray for communities. They now pray at a provincial level. They pray for governors. They pray for mayors. They pray for presidents. And they are allowed to speak a statement that is political. Doesn't matter you fear the politicians. Doesn't matter when you come across law authorities, you change your statements. You don't have a political rank in the spirit. I'm talking about Daniel who determined the rulerships. I'm talking about Daniel who had to pray for 21 days for Daniel to descend. And Daniel says, therefore, I was left alone and saw this great vision. And there remained no strength in me, for my calmness was turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Yet I heard the voices of his words. And when I heard the voice of his words, then I was in a deep sleep on my face. Meaning that this was a teleportation dimension, where Daniel is hearing certain things from this angel. And this angel is relating a message of nations. This angel is relating a message that was politically affiliated to do with the rulership of princes. But the rulership of princes that is being explained by this angel is not just the rulership of princes on this earthly realm. It is something that it transpired in the realms that would determine the rulership of princes in the physical. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the ways that I speak unto you, and stand upright. For unto you I have been sent, and when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then he said unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the very first day that you set your heart to understand, to pray, to fast. Your words were heard before God. So what withheld the message to reach Daniel for the entire 21 days? That is the question. And Gabriel then says, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me for 21 days but lord michael one of the chief princes from heaven came to help me and i remained there with the kings of persia meaning the message that was coming from above it pertained certain levels of political ranks at the level of princes and there was a warfare in the realms that summoned the angel Michael to come and intervene. Why? Because Gabriel, as a prince again, was blocked his passage, was withstood for 21 days for the message not to reach Daniel. And Daniel is representing a prince. 
that is praying and effecting prayers in the realms of the spirit that determine warfare in the spirit ranks that are political this is why this war was a war of princes it was a war of princes and the message had to reach daniel and the message reaching daniel would mean that certain effective decisions certain portals would be unlocked in the realms of the spirit and certain decisions would be effected on behalf of princes but the ranks that were in a warfare they were ranks of light and darkness and the prince of persia represented the prince of darkness and the prince of light was represented by gabriel and the war raged on for 21 days and for 21 days until law michael the angel who represents armies in the heavenly ranks came and started wrestling in the spirit child of god when you reach the level that is politically affiliated in the spirit there are prayers that you you will do that will provoke entities of princes princes are never driven out princes are wrestled within the spirit child of god when you have reached the level that is territorial in the realms of the spirit you have reached a level that is politically affiliated in the spirit you have reached a level that needs you to wrestle in the spirit you have reached a level where you have the capacity to become the determination in the spirit to become the determination of choices and decision in a community in a province i'm talking about the political ranks in the spirit the whole mystery of the war that was happening between princes in the spirit was a war that would determine certain decisions amongst the presidents and princes in the physical realm and there was a man that was praying for that battle to be won by the prince of light and that prayer was being done by daniel they are callings that have been anointed under the sun they are gatekeepers they are watchers in the realms representing princes representing governors representing mayors representing presidents representing authorities representing senators representing prime ministers callings in the realms of the spirit that operate at those ranks in the spirit and you have one that is preaching unto you right now that is a political ambassador in the spirit who is allowed to enter into the realms of the spirit and reveal the deep things of the spirit that are political and reveal the deep things of the spirit that are affi affiliated with the nations child of god there are ranks in the spirit that are politically affiliated even when you enter into the police force into the army there are ranks that are political which you reach and those ranks they are not academical they don't require your quali qualities or qualifications from school or university you have to be politically minded at that rank to affiliate with that rank in the spirit and i'm here representing the office of daniel daniel who prayed for 21 days up until a prince was released by a prince up until a prince wrestled against a prince up until a prince descended upon a prince and related a message to a prince the ranks of principalities i pray that you're given such influence in your community in your province in your territory in your nation in your influence
in the realm of prayer, in the realm of the Word, in the name of Jesus.